A piston ring is a split ring that fits into a groove on the outer diameter of a piston in a reciprocating engine such as an internal combustion engine or steam engine. The main functions of piston rings in reciprocating engines are Sealing the combustion chamber so that there is minimal loss of gases to the crankcase. Improving heat transfer from the piston to the cylinder wall. Maintaining the proper quantity of the oil between the piston and the cylinder wall. Regulating engine oil consumption by scraping oil from the cylinder walls back to the sump. The gap in the piston ring compresses to a few thousandths of an inch when inside the cylinder bore. Piston rings are a major factor in identifying if an engine is two stroke or four stroke. Three piston rings suggest that it is a four stroke engine, while two piston rings suggest that it is a two stroke engine. Most piston rings are made of a very hard and somewhat brittle cast iron. Topic: History. The split piston ring was invented by John Ramsbottom who reported the benefits to the Institution of Mechanical Engineers in 1854. It soon replaced the hemp packing hitherto used in steam engines. The use of piston rings at once dramatically reduced the frictional resistance, the leakage of steam, and the mass of the piston, leading to significant increases in power and efficiency and longer maintenance intervals. Ramsbottom's initial piston rings, patented along with the corresponding metal pistons in 1852, wore unevenly and were only a partial success. He realized that a perfectly round prior to installation ring with a split in it does not exert an even pressure on the cylinder walls once installed. Ramsbottom initially considered making rings that tapered towards the split but these would have been difficult to produce, since rings were made from wire blanks of uniform diameter. Eventually, by empirical methods, he realized that a ring manufactured to an out-of-round shape would exert even pressure once installed in the cylinder. His patent of 1855 covered this refinement. Automotive Piston rings have been an area of considerable focus and development for internal combustion engines. The needs of diesel engines and small piston-ported two-stroke engines have been particularly difficult. Piston rings may account for a considerable proportion of the total friction in the engine, as much as 24%. This high friction is a result of the design compromises needed to achieve good sealing and long lifetime. Sealing is achieved by multiple rings, each with their own function, using a metal-on-metal -metal sliding contact. Rings are also sprung to increase this contact force and to maintain a close seal, either by the stiffness of the ring itself or by a separate spring behind the seal ring. It is important that rings float freely in their grooves within the piston, so that they can stay in contact with the cylinder. Rings binding in the piston, usually due to a buildup of either combustion products or a breakdown of the lubricating oil, is a common cause of failure, especially for diesel engines. Lubrication of piston rings is difficult and has been a driving force to improvements in the quality of motor oil. The oil must survive high temperatures and harsh conditions with a high-speed sliding contact. Lubrication is particularly difficult as the rings have an oscillating motion rather than continuous rotation, as for a bearing journal. At the limits of piston movement, the ring stops and reverses direction. This disrupts the normal oil wedge effect of a hydrodynamic bearing, leading to pronounced wear and the formation of a step in the cylinder bore around the height of the upper ring. Noting that some sleeve valve engines suffered far less from such wear, complex designs such as a rotating cylinder liner have been considered. Just to address this problem, most automotive pistons have three rings, the top two, while also controlling oil, are primarily for compression sealing compression rings. 
Meanwhile, the lower ring is for controlling the supply of oil to the liner, which lubricates the piston skirt and the compression rings, oil control rings OCR. At least two piston rings are found on most piston and cylinder combinations. Typical compression ring designs will have an essentially rectangular cross-section or a keystone right-angled trapezoidal cross-section. The periphery will then have either a barrel profile for the top compression rings or a taper napier form for the second compression ring or scraper ring. There are some taper-faced top rings as well, and on some old engines simple plain-faced rings were used. Oil control rings typically are of three types. Single-piece cast iron Helical spring-backed cast iron or steel Multi-piece steel spring-backed oil rings and the cast iron oil rings have essentially the same range of peripheral forms, which consist of two scraping lands of various detailed form. The multi-piece oil control rings usually consist of two rails or segments these are thin steel rings with a spacer expander spring which keeps the two rails apart and provides the radial load. The piston might be a fairly loose fit in the cylinder. If it were a tight fit, it would expand as it got hot and might stick tight in the cylinder. If a piston sticks seizes, it could cause serious damage to the engine. On the other hand, if there is too much clearance between the piston and cylinder walls, the ultimate result will be insufficient sealing of the piston rings against the cylinder walls, and thus much of the pressure from the burning gasoline vapor will leak past the piston a condition known as blow-by and into the crankcase. In such a situation, the push on the piston from combustion will be much less effective in delivering power. Topic. Wear due to ring load on the bore Piston rings are subject to wear as they move up and down the cylinder bore due to their own inherent load and due to the gas load acting on the ring. To minimize this, they are made of wear-resistant materials, such as cast iron and steel, and are coated or treated to enhance the wear resistance. In two-stroke engines, the port design is additionally critical to ring life. In modern motorcycle engines, various proprietary shapes are used to help maximize ring longevity. Examples include specialized port shapes such as tapered serrations and the use of various combinations of heat treating and special coatings applied by PVD physical vapor deposition processes and other techniques. Typically, top ring and oil control rings will be coated with chromium, or nitrided, possibly plasma sprayed or have a PVD ceramic coating. For enhanced scuff resistance and further improved wear, most modern diesel engines have top rings coated with a modified chromium coating known as CKS or GDC, a patent coating from Goetze which has aluminium oxide or diamond particles respectively included in the chrome surface. The lower oil control ring is designed to leave a lubricating oil film, a few micrometers thick on the bore, as the piston descends. Three-piece oil rings, i.e. with two rails and one spacer, are used for four-stroke gasoline engines. Topic. Fitting new piston rings When fitting new piston rings or breaking them in within an engine, the end gap is a crucial measurement. In order that a ring may be fitted into the grooves of the piston, it is not continuous but is broken at one point on its circumference. The ring gap may be checked by placing the ring into the bore, liner squared to bore and measuring it with a feeler gauge. The end gap should be within recommended limits for size of bore and intended load of engine. Because metals expand with a rise in temperature, too small a gap may result in overlapping or bending when used under hot running conditions racing, heavy loads, towing, and, even at normal temperatures, an undersized ring gap may lead to ring gap closure, ring breakage, bore damage and possible seizure of the piston. 
Too large a gap may give unacceptable compression and levels of blow by gases or oil consumption. When piston gap is measured in a used bore, it may serve to indicate either excessive bore wear or ring wear, or a combination of both types of wear. Radial wear on the ring face reduces the effective thickness of the used, worn ring, thereby essentially decreasing the face circumference of the ring. This increases the size of the ring's end gap. It is considered good practice to build a new engine with the ring gap staggered around the circumference of the bore. This means that any escaping gas must negotiate a labyrinth before escaping past the rings. However, while the engine is running, the rings will tend to rotate around the piston and not remain in the position as fitted. Many rings will then stick in one spot at random and remain there for the life of the engine. For this reason, ring position during build cannot be considered to be important, although most engine builders would feel uncomfortable assembling an engine with the gaps aligned. When fitting new rings to a used engine, special ridge dodger rings are sometimes used for the top compression ring, to improve compression and oil consumption without reboring the cylinder. These have a small step of iron removed from the top section to avoid making contact with any wear ridge at the top of the cylinder, which could break a conventional ring. These are not widely recommended, however, as they are usually not required and may give inferior oil consumption. A more acceptable method is to remove the wear ridge with a ridge reamer tool before lightly honing the bore to accept new rings. In fact, if the ridge is measured it will generally be apparent it is not really a ridge but a relatively local hollow caused by the top ring near the ring reversal point. The upper edge of this hollow will take the form of a ramp about 2 mm long from the point of maximum wear to the point of zero wear. In this case, there is not actually any ridge to hit, so light honing may be all that is required. During engine assembly, a piston ring compressor is used to evenly squeeze the rings long enough to slide the piston into the cylinder. Rings are not a very expensive part, but fitting new ones is very costly on most engines. This is because in order to fit them, the mechanic must dismantle a large part of the engine so labor costs are the major factor. However, on some simple engines, such as lightweight two-stroke engines found in motorcycles, piston ring replacement is generally straightforward and relatively quick. See also Obturator ring